I suppose you're all wondering why I've gathered you here today. I was watching a black and white TV. But no, there are colors everywhere. And I don't want to be anywhere but truly just with you. So that's how you pack up a freaking VHS tape, dude, before you take it to the post office. And I'm also- Hi, my name is Lonnie, by the way. I'm very bad at promoting things, so I'm taking this opportunity to say you can still buy these broken VHS tape VHS tapes from Lonnie.BigCartel.com Broken VHS tape is the title, and not- It's not actually broken. You can break it yourself. It's encouraged. I'll ship it to your dang house. And then it's your problem now. Got this big old dang old box of freaking VHS tapes the other day, and I wanted to show you guys. So I'm just gonna freaking go through these because they look freaking really cool, dude. This is Jeepers Creepers. It's a movie about a monster man. He's made by a real monster man in real life, actually. So he went the extra mile. Next, we got freaking the Grudgy. You may have remembered this movie from movies. Wow, I'm really good at this. I really have nothing to say about the grudge. I've never really cared for Salem's Lot, bro. I have no idea what this movie is. It looks horror or horror adjacent. I will, I will be watching it in all of its staticky glory. These are the ones I was most excited about in this lot specifically. Was It has five of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. This is the first one with Jonathan Depst. And it doesn't come out of the box. It's very sticky. What the hell? Peculiar. Maybe I'll leave it that way, dude. Maybe Johnny's in there. I don't want him to get out. Nightmare on Elm Street 3, baby. This one has really cool box art and is a cool movie also. I don't know if this is a horror movie, but this is Seven with Brad Pitt. I hope they kiss in it. Nightmare Part 2, Freddy's Revenge, known by some as the gayest one. The man who sold me all these also said that there was, he, he had all of the Nightmare films on VHS that it were on VHS and that he only has the first five, so I believe he's a liar, so Walker, if you're out there, please never lie to me again. I'll let it slide this time. He also said that this movie, whatever the hell it is, should never seen, never known about it. <laughs> he said this one was uh, quite rare, quite hard to find, so, but I mean, basically lost all credibility to me at this point. There is a, a Clue movie, I believe is based on the, the board game. Maybe the board game was based on the movie. I don't know which came first. Probably won't watch that one, but it's uh, it's here. I'll protect it for the foreseeable future. There's another one. I'm not sure what it is. Near Dark. That's called Afternoon. Be kind. Please rewind on it. That's kind of cool. It also looks like someone uh, shit on it. Back to better movies. Nightmare Part 5, baby. Dream Child. This is actually the next one I need to rewatch, and I'm excited to do so. It's the Boogeyman. He's, the, he's got the creepy little hand guy. I think the movie sucks from what I remember, but it's nostalgic, and isn't that what we're all here for? If we're gonna fetishize dead media, I mean, you might as well do it with style by going to Lonnie.BigCartel.com Big problems not rewinding back then. Last but not the least, and also not in the correct order, Nightmare Part 4, baby. Probably the coolest of the five box arts. Pretty sick looking. Does that Freddy's got the little boy titties? This is the only one of these I've watched so far, and it is Sleepy Hollow with Johnny Depp and it's really not scary. Also got Nappus. Don't know what that means. Not a pure unsettling story. Flavor Witch Project. I also don't remember if I've ever seen it before, so that'd be, that'll be a cool one. Feel like it was meant to be released on VHS as I was. Kind of surprised Saw was released on VHS because it was like in the 2000s or whatever, but I can keep it for seven whole nights, so that's pretty sick. Placid, Placid, Placio. Can't read it from here. I'm very blind. And also very uninformed of what the hell this is or if it would scare me. The I See Dead People movie with the little boy. He's got six senses, not to flex. And yeah, he gave me a bunch of sci-fi stuff that my girlfriend took because she's more into that. And uh, two VCRs, so I'd feed a, a successful transaction with the man, Walker, his, was his name. Nice meeting you, please. Don't contact me <laughs> again. He brought us up to his apartment to come get them instead of just bringing the box down. I definitely thought we might die for a moment there. But yes, I will definitely keep you all up to date on my dusty plastic hoarding endeavors. I wanted to make this video for a little bit, but I don't even know where to begin what I'm trying to talk about. Also, I was going to be driving during it, but my this thing broke, so now I'm just sitting in my car like a lunatic. I haven't made a video in a month on either of my channels, except for that ASMR one, which was just like a random idea that I wanted to try. But I haven't made like a real video in a month. Now I feel like this immense pressure, self-induced pressure to like, figure my, all my shit out now. <laughs> or something all at once. Very not chill, very not cash money. I guess I'm just burnt out. I feel like I really take my time before I put a label on my neurosis. <laughs> all right, I can understand the feelings that you're explaining and I've felt uh, some extent to that, but I am not burnt out. I've never been burnt out. And it's just kind of like this stupid cycle of not doing stuff and then feeling like shit because I'm not doing stuff. I don't ever take intentional breaks from making content because I don't like how it feels. It doesn't relax me, it stresses me out. If I'm not doing something, then I'm doing nothing. 
I don't know. There's definitely a time and a place for self-care, of course. I feel like making videos is part of mine, though, because if I... <laughs> My mental health just dwindles if I'm not doing something. I have to create something, which I guess is this. The longer that I don't do it, the more weird it feels. Like, I haven't talked. I feel like I'm just talking into the void right now, and I know that I'm not, and that someone's going to see this. People have been throwing around the term imposter syndrome. I think it started with Among Us. It's the least funny thing I've ever said. I haven't done this in a while, okay? Maybe I don't under I feel like I understand it, but I'm too stupid to articulate <laughs> I don't know why you would watch this. And the logical part of my brain would be like, because you make a compelling video and people have watched other videos before. But I don't feel logical, I feel emotional. I feel like, why the hell would anyone watch this? This provides no value. Imposter syndrome is loosely defined as doubting your abilities and feeling like a fraud. It's cathartic to know that I know there will be an upswing, you know? Because I felt like this before. And then some days you just wake up and everything makes sense again. But that's frustrating, because then I feel like I'm not in charge of my own existence. Which I guess nobody is. I'm just overthinking this, and I don't want to. So, hello. Give it a, give it a rest. No, I'm not, no, you, 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 you freaking, no one wants to hear this, calm down. I think that's probably not helpful, but maybe left. Thank you for listening to me. Say nothing.